Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel Trailhead Ranger NJ and we are back with another video. We are doing this series to become an Agent Blazer Champion and we are already done with this, get started with Artificial Intelligence Basics uh, sorry, section, Explore Salesforce AI section and now we will be targeting Meet Agent Force section and in this section we have our first module as Introduction to Agent Force. So till now we have talked about AI or what model we are using, what all those model means, how is this AI working and what exactly we are trying to achieve and how and what are its benefits. Now we will be talking about the most uh, mentioned word that is the agent force from Salesforce that what it is and how we are going to implement that. So first of all we need to understand what exactly it agent force. So we will be starting with that. So agent force is nothing but an agent. We have already talked about the agent force. So in your earlier youth, you might have heard or you might have thought that uh, uh, like uh, I should be having a robot uh, which could do this stuff or that stuff for me without uh, having, me, having me to lift a finger for it. Uh, so this is similar to that. This is just for your job now means your work. So it will help you to ease your work out. It can carry out some tasks. You can ask certain questions to it without going to search for it here and there or from multiple books. You can just ask it and it will let you know the answer uh, which will be fetched from multiple books in a library such as an example. And similarly if you are working and you want to uh, book uh, your AI to or your agent to book an appointment for you from certain site it can do that as well uh, so that's how agent force is working so how exactly it is getting its work done so it is built using smart technology and highest or highly customizable components so it uses the power of artificial intelligence like machine learning and natural language processing so that it can make sense of our conversations questions or any requests we are making and then process accordingly so the most important element that it needs are data so it uh, uh, access the data from our company and customer and then let the information process and access controls our agent so that it can securely do their jobs it can use structured or even unstructured data like our knowledge articles CRM data or the data that connect from external sources to perform their tasks then uh, reasoning comes into the picture the reasoning engine enables the agent to think deeply and understand the human intent and take action within the flow of a conversation to call different topics and actions as the conversation shifts so salesforce relies on the atlas reasoning engine to do this kind of work and then the action coming uh, sorry comes into the picture it can customize the standard actions or even it can create the new actions which use our own business uh, sorry business processes such as an auto launched flow which initiates a product return a prompt template which can generate sales email or even apex that calls a weather app as such then it categorizes or classified our actions that define the overall job or jobs an agent is sorry an agent can perform uh, so this is called as topics then we can deploy our agent force into the systems where our employees or the customers can rely on for communication and work activities such as salesforce or slack text messages or even email so those channels they can prefer and after all putting it together we'll be able to make or use our agent force to do the some sorry to do some tasks and it will be able to do it so exactly what types of job can agent force perform it can perform certain uh, many kind of jobs some are standards and there are some custom agents as well so as the custom name suggests uh, suggests that we can customize our agent force to do the kind of stuff which is uh, which it is not already able to do but the standard agents we are having some of uh, the topic or relevant topic it can include as well as uh, some of the actions so what uh, these actions or what kind of uh, standard agents we are having 
first we are having agent force agent which is the default it can customize for our employees to help them access information summarize relationships forecast revenue all in the flow of work then we are having agent force sales development rep that is the sdr so if we are looking to boost our businesses bottom line so this agent we can keep the leads engaged around the clock fielding questions and even objections while streamlining the tasks needing to keep reps operating at their best then we are having agent force for setup uh, it can help find documentation or to customize our org with a low code promptable partner then we have agent force service agent which can be used to provide our customers with personalized interactions or common answers and support path for escalation so this is how it will look like when we want to select a agent force and as we said that custom agents are nothing but uh, we can create an agent to perform our job as per our need so where do we interact with the agents so as we talked about after deployment we can interact with it uh, anywhere or any channel such as the slack salesforce or or the salesforce mobile app anywhere where we will be deploying it so that's how it will look like after deploying it even you can see here as well you can see the agent force button so that's how then we have agents and trust and again we talked about it that trust is the most important factor for us as part of or as working uh, for the salesforce being a salesforce developer so everything in salesforce is built around on the trust only so there we are talking about the instant trust layer so the trust layer ensures that the responses our agents generate are grounded in the trusted company data and its zero data retention policy means that our company and the customer information will never be released into the wild so the trust layer detects potentially harmful llm responses and includes even log monitoring for transparency in each user interaction as well so now let's go to the quiz our first question is what allows agent force to call different topics and actions as a conversation shifts first option is the trust layer second is the atlas reasoning engine third is the channels used in the conversation and the last one is the guard rails that exist so second option should be the correct one then we have second question as what are the individual task an agent is configured to do first is topics so second option is the large language models llm third option is actions and the last option is the agent type so c option should be the correct one let's check so this is correct and that's how we are done with this module that is introduction to agent force and in our next video we'll be targeting introduction to the agent builder and i hope that one will be uh, win, will also be the short video so stay tuned and if you like it please like the video and uh, subscribe the channel thank you